Now the next concept you need to discuss is Gauss's theorem. So this is Gauss's theorem. Gauss was, Gauss was a famous mathematician, also a physicist who has given this theorem. The statement of the theorem is like this. The total outward electric flux the total outward electric flux across or you can write also even through a closed surface closed surface surrounding A given charge is equal to one over epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by the surface. So this is the statement for Gauss's theorem. The statement is very confusing. Statement the first time The total outward electric flux across a closed surface surrounding a given charge, or you can write set of charges so much bodo, is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by that surface or by the surface. So what do you understand by this? Very very confusing. Now for example, we will try to understand this. Now for example, we should take a point charge. Point charge Point charge means dimension of the charge which is very less compared to the distance from which you observe the charge. Point doesn't mean small. If gas theorem is no point charge means you can apply gas theorem even for non-point charges, extended charges. Therefore gas theorem is more fundamental than Coulomb's law. Basic or no Coulomb's law Kaltirbhu. But Coulomb's law is only applicable for point charges. Extended charges will not obey. So no dot charge. Kadme distance are in there. Coulomb's law is obey model law. But it obeys Gauss theorem. So Gauss has mentioned charge and tamatra mentioned Matilari. Specific point to extended or whether in Therefore, it is applicable to, applicable to all types of charges. Now, to understand gas theorem, now no point charge to theory. So now point charge to one go. I will assume a closed surface. So it is no hard compulsion that you should only assume a tube. To understand it better and easily, I have considered a tube and tube is a closed surface, tube or cylinder, solids. So you have taken a closed tube. A tube may be of any dimension. So, you dimension that you have to body, one close the surface thought. Now, when there is a charge, I can draw a number of field lines. So, these are the field lines. Field lines be drawn in all dimensions, so three dimensional level. 
ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗೋಗಿದೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿವನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಐ ಹವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೇ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇರೋದು ಕೊಸೈನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಕೊಸೈನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ I will find the cosine component of the field lines crossing the second surface. I can draw many such lines. So, in alpha marker in the now. A, B, C, D, I to E, F. So, EF CD surface, you know, flux quantity theory, I call it as flux phi 3, phi 2. Next, we saw the field lines through the third surface. We saw the field lines, I can draw many of them. So, without intersecting, I can draw many of them. So, field lines will never intersect in the electric field. I have drawn. So, now, flux to the third surface when we can have a phi 3 e f phi to g h say e f h g surface and flux and there is fourth surface I will find the flux to the fourth surface as many as as many field lines as you can draw so the sample even so far to understand it so field lines so flux to the surface a b h g phi 3 phi 4 okay there are two other surfaces e b a g unknown flux for the phi of phi and similarly there is another surface b h f c so flux ಫೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಎಲ್ಲ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಬರೀತೀನಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ವಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇದೊಂದು ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇತ್ತು ಇದೊಂದು ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಹಿಯರ್ and that charge charge here say q and the charge within this surface imaginary surface will be multiplied by 1 over epsilon not ಈ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿಯಿಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಪ್ಸಲೋನ್ ನಾಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಬಹಳ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಎಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ plus 5-6 will be equal to 1 by epsilon not q. This is the meaning of the meaning. Mathematical formula of the express part of the equation. This is the meaning of this statement. The total outward electric flux across a closed surface is the closed surface surrounding a given charge 
e is equal to 1 over epsilon naught times total charge enclosed by the surface. Adhan ne nani maan. Okay. 